Hey, higher achievement. I'm Brittany Packnett Cunningham. I am an activist, an educator, and a writer. Sometimes I talk about politics and the things happening in the world on TV, on NBC, and I'm the host of the new podcast, Undistracted. I'm so, so honored and so thrilled to be here with all of you, especially the young folks in the audience. I remember being your age and looking out at the world thinking that I had to wait in order to make a difference. I'm here to tell you that that's not true. I mean, history tells us that that's not true. You may think of somebody named John Lewis, who's right there over my shoulder. You may think of him as just an older man, but he was once your age and started thinking about how to change the world when he was that age. He and people like Diane Nash were just college students when they organized their peers to do sit-ins at lunch counters that were segregated in Nashville and across the South, helping to change the entire course of history. Just right now, I think about people like the Parkland students who started March for Our Lives or Greta Thunberg, who is leading the entire world in an important conversation about changing and fixing and saving our climate and our world. I think about people like Little Miss Flint, who's your age, who's making sure that young people in her elementary school and across the city of her hometown in Flint, Michigan, are getting the clean water that they deserve. I don't know who told us the lie that you had to wait until you were old enough or big enough or accomplished enough or wealthy enough to make a change in the world. So if I've got three pieces of advice for you, that's the first one. Don't wait to get started, get started now. I organized my first march when I was in middle school and I distinctly remember believing so powerfully in the change that I wanted to see happen. And guess what? We won. When you are diligent, when you are disciplined, and when you work together with other people who care, you absolutely can make a difference on the things that matter. Perhaps it's something in your school or in your neighborhood that you wanna see changed, but talk to your loved ones and talk to your friends to figure out how you're going to get together and get it done. Second of all, I wanna tell you that whether or not you decide to become an activist like me or a writer or a dancer or a doctor or a lawyer or an athlete or an engineer, whatever it is, do not waste time trying to fit in. I really wish somebody had given me that advice when I was your age because now that I'm a little bit older, I realize that nobody who changed the world ever fit in. Beyonce doesn't fit in. Steve Jobs didn't fit in. Barack Obama, Michelle Obama, neither of them fit in and they're doing a pretty powerful job of changing the world. They weren't worried about being like somebody else or seeking somebody else's approval. So often at your age, that can be your greatest temptation that you just wanna fit in and be like everybody else. I know, I understand. And I know you've probably had your fill of adults telling you to be yourself, but we say it because it's true. And the more time you spend being yourself, the more time you can spend doing the things that you are uniquely positioned and were born to do. I wanna see you change the world. I wanna see you change my world. I'm waiting on you to step up and do things that I can't do, but that you were born for. So don't waste time trying to fit in because nobody who ever changed the world fit in. Lastly, I want you to remember always to speak up, to tell the truth, and to use your voice, even as we say, if your voice shakes. There's no right way to stand up for what's uh, powerful and what's important. It may be through art, it may be through writing, it may be through activism, it may be through running for office in your school, but whatever it is, make sure that you are doing it with truth and with excellence and know that you are important enough and the right person to be doing it. That speaking up and saying and talking about what matters is all of our responsibility from the oldest among us to the youngest among us. That truth is what helps set us free. And no matter what you have to speak up on, even if you're nervous, you're scared and your voice is trembling just a bit, know that if it's true, then it needs to be said. That truth will not only set you free, it'll help set a lot of us free too. So keep doing what you're doing. Keep 
reaching higher and achieving more and make sure at the end of the day that you're being yourself while you do it. Thanks so much, Higher Achievement. So proud of you all. Hope to see you soon.